हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ एज वी ऑल नो फार्माको काइनेटिक्स इज अ स्टडी ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड एक्सक्रीशन ऑफ ड्रग बाय द बॉडी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रीडिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ड्रग now redistribution of drug is one of the most important factor responsible for the distribution of drugs now this video is fifth in the series of videos on pharmacokinetics now look at this figure giving schematic representation of distribution and redistribution of a drug now as we all know that once a drug is administered in the body the drug is absorbed in the blood stream now after a drug is absorbed in the blood stream it is distributed to the body tissues now let's take an example of a drug let's say the drug is thiopentone sodium it is injected iv that is by the intravenous route so the drug is directly injected into the blood stream and from the blood stream uh, the drug that is thiopentone sodium is distributed to the brain so this movement of thiopentone sodium from blood to the brain is termed as distribution while the movement of drug that is thiopentone sodium from brain back to the blood is termed as redistribution and further from the blood thiopentone sodium is redistributed to muscle and fat tissue so the movement of a drug from blood to the tissue is termed as distribution while the movement of a drug from the tissue back to the blood is termed as redistribution so after a drug is absorbed in the blood stream it is distributed to the tissues now movement of a drug back from a specific tissue for example brain to the to the blood plasma is called as redistribution and from the plasma drug is again redistributed to muscle and fat fat is the adipose tissue now in order to understand phenomenon of uh, redistribution uh, let's see to the hierarchies of uh, perfusion in the body tissues that is order in which blood is supplied to the various tissues now organs that are highly perfused and possess richest and fastest supply of blood are brain heart kidney liver and lungs moderately perfused organs are skin and muscles while adipose tissue or the fat tissue has a poorest and the slowest supply of blood another very important characteristic of adipose tissue is this that it has a very high affinity for lipid soluble drugs it strongly binds to the lipid soluble drugs it acts as a reservoir of lipid soluble drugs uh, now let's understand phenomenon of uh, redistribution with the help of figures now our drug is thiopentone sodium thiopentone sodium is highly lipid soluble drug and it is a general anesthetic its uh, site of action is the brain now look at this figure this figure shows three boxes now this entire box represents the adipose tissue adipose tissue is a bulky tissue and it is a poorly perfused tissue this entire box represents the systemic circulation that is the blood plasma and this box represents here the brain now this uh, this shows uh, the plasma concentration of drug that is concentration of drug in the plasma is shown here in the red color and this is the concentration of drug in the brain so concentration of drug in the brain here is shown in the red color so this is the concentration of thiopentone sodium in the plasma and this is the concentration of thiopentone sodium in the brain uh now thiopentone sodium is administered by the intravenous route that means thiopentone sodium is injected directly in in this box it is injected directly in the blood and the concentration of drug in the plasma is shown here in the red color so this is the concentration of drug in the plasma now as this brain this box it represents the brain this entire box represents the brain as the brain is a highly perfused organ thiopentone sodium is immediately distributed to the brain this shows the concentration of thiopentone sodium in the in the brain this red color now an equilibrium is established between concentration of drug in the plasma and concentration of drug in the brain fluid 
Now, as thiopentone sodium reaches the brain, immediately it produces general anesthesia because brain is the site of action of thiopentone sodium. Now, look at this figure. Now, after supplying uh, the blood to the brain, the blood starts flowing to the adipose tissue. Now, this box represents the adipose tissue. Adipose tissue is a highly bulky organ. That means it is a very big organ. This entire box represents the adipose tissue. And this adipose tissue accounts for around 20 to 25 percent of the total body weight. Now, this adipose tissue or the fatty tissue, it binds lipid soluble drug. It has therefore high affinity for thiopentone sodium. Now, as the blood starts flowing to the adipose tissue, which is a very big tissue, plasma concentration of thiopentone sodium falls. Look at this compartment of the systemic uh, blood. Earlier, plasma concentration of thiopentone sodium was this much. Now, the concentration falls to this much. So, as the blood is supplied to the adipose tissue, which is a very bulky tissue, concentration of drug in the concentration of thiopentone sodium in the blood falls. And now, as soon as the plasma concentration of thiopentone sodium falls, drug is withdrawn from the brain to the plasma as shown here by the arrows. That is thiopentone sodium. It flows from the brain. It is withdrawn from the brain and it flows towards the plasma. This is shown here by the arrows. So, distribution of drug is a movement of drug from the plasma to the brain. Whereas, redistribution of the drug is the movement of thiopentone sodium back from the brain to the plasma. And from the plasma, thiopentone is again redistributed to adipose tissue and to the muscles. Uh, so, as soon as a thiopentone sodium is withdrawn from the brain, its general anesthetic action is terminated. And this general anesthetic action of thiopentone is terminated within 5 to 10 minutes. Now, another very important thing to understand over here is this, that adipose tissue has a high affinity for thiopentone sodium. Since thiopentone sodium is lipid soluble, adipose tissue stores thiopentone sodium and it acts like a reservoir of the drug. And even though the anesthetic action of thiopentone sodium persists only for 5 to 10 minutes, the half-life of drug is very long. It is about 5.5 to 26 hours. Because thiopentone sodium remains stored in the adipose tissue and it is very slowly excreted from the body. Now, if thiopentone sodium is administered repeatedly, continuously for long period, it produces longer anesthetic action. So, in summary, distribution is the movement of drug from blood to the tissue. While redistribution is the movement of drug from the tissue back to the blood or back to the plasma. So, this is in brief on the phenomenon of redistribution. So, if you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.